Hi, this is Craig Dvorak. I'm the Applications Engineering Supervisor for the Wheel Ends and Brake Groups at Hendrickson, and today I'd like to give you a couple of clues and tips on maintaining and inspecting your air disc brakes. Air disc brakes are distinctly different than drum brakes. They move over the life of the brake as the components wear. They have a different type of friction material. They actuate differently, and as a result, they should be looked at um, to understand exactly how to set up your proper maintenance practices. Today, I'd like to focus on two features of the air disc brakes and give some tips on how to look and make sure that they're working properly. They are the air disc brake lines, the air lines coming to the air disc brake, and the boots that are included within the disc brake. For the air disc brake lines, as, as I said before, it's important to understand that over the life of the brake, the calipers actually move inboard towards the center of the axle just about an inch. Your air lines have to be able to account for that movement without rubbing on any components and chafing. For the boots, there are two types of boots on an air disc brake, the boots that cover the adjusters and the boots that cover the guide pins. In inspection, you need to make sure that those boots are intact without any rips or tears. Henderson recommends a three month inspection interval, but really this is just so that you can set up your own specifications and timing for maintaining disc brakes because they are different than drum brakes. Scan the QR code to learn more about air disc brake maintenance practices. If you cannot find the question answered on the Max 22D site, please message me on LinkedIn or comment below to have your question answered by a wheel and brakes expert.